Alright guys, just messing about making a couple of silver bullets, it's in 44 calibre and for the 1851 Navy Brass Revolver. Traditionally these won 36 calibre but uh, 44 calibre is much more common, more sought after, people like the 44 cals. And that's what I got. But, um, yeah, the gun that won the Wild West, really. Old Wild Bill Hickok, he used to carry a couple of these. And uh, his were chrome plated? No, silver plated. His were silver plated. Probably didn't even have chrome back then. 
But uh, yeah, his were silver plated with pearl handles. And mine's got the walnut grip and the brass, engraved brass here. I just like the look of it. Uh, it works, works perfectly well. Um, not sure I'd recommend shooting silver bullets out of it, but um, but it, it, they work okay, I've seen it done. I haven't done it myself, but I have seen it done. And I will shoot them through one day when this pandemic is all over with and I've actually got somewhere to shoot around here in California. I do miss Oklahoma, shooting in my own backyard and all that. Yeah. But uh, I'm in California. Not in Oklahoma anymore, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, these replicas, you can drop the hammer in between, in between the uh, cylinders, in between the caps. So you can load up on six, but traditionally you would load up on five and, and, and have the hammer on an, empty, on an empty chamber like that. And, uh, on the cylinder there's a scene of, of a battle uh, between Mexico and Texas. Um, Colt back in the day did a, the commemorative scene after the battle for the Texas Navy. That's, uh, that's why they have this etching on here, though this one's very poor etching, it's not very good at all. But a great, great handgun. Really nice. The modern handgun of the of, of the time. Uh, let's break it down. There's a little key here we take out. This one hasn't been shot much at all, so it's still pretty tricky to take apart. Not tricky, just tight. And just that key, that key there, you just remove that and remove the barrel, put it on half cock and the cylinder comes off. So back in the day, um, people used to carry more than one cylinder, they would have them preloaded, ready to roll because it's easier, faster to switch out the cylinder than to reload manually. Uh, you know, they would load up two or three of these beforehand or carry two pistols. That's why uh, Bill Hickok carried, carried two. I mean, a lot of people in the military carry two because it takes a while to reload these things. But there you go. Um, let's put, pop it back together. So you can see if uh, someone that's experienced with these guns could strip them down and get them back together real fast. Get back in the back in the game. There you go. Just a quick video. This one's not made by Colt. It's made by Pieta in Italy. They make really nice replica firearms. Uh, not too bad of a price. I guess these are around 250 bucks there, thereabouts, which is not a lot. It's a well-made firearm, and they they work really well. All right, so my silver bullets. <laughs> I'll make a few more. I'll 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 have six silver bullets on standby just in case the werewolves turn up. Alright, catch you later guys.